can't sleep, gotta build There's a ground that needs to be drilled And all I wanna do is dig From the Dead Workers Party A podcast about all things Minecraft Enjoy your stay in the shaft the Shaft, episode 102, recorded on October 7th, 2012. I'm Brent Copeland. I am Wes Wilson. I love Cherick Fullerton. Cherick Fullerton, it's so nice oh, to see you over uh, there. What's up? What's up, Cherick? I, I, I'm so impressed with you. You know, I saw you gaming the other day, and you had more listeners the entire time that you were, I mean, more viewers the whole time you were streaming, Cherrick, than I had while I was streaming real games. Because I'm awesome, and I'm a chair. You are, Cherrick. You, you are absolutely um, brilliant. But uh, we'll talk to you later. <laughs> <laughs> we don't want you to steal the show from us today. Yes. So. He forgot to turn his stream up as well. Well, yeah. yeah. He just got up and left. Yeah, well, yeah, yeah that's why we got yeah. Cherik. That's why we got Cherik. And, and we also have two guests today from the the uh, Shaft mod team. We have Jaden B. Hello. And E.R. Potter. Hello. Is that how you say it? Is it yeah. Is it are, er? are you related to Harry? Uh, no. <laughs> uh, I have Harry Potter's birthday. Some- See? Yeah. July 31st. I'm interrupting the guests. Congrats. Thanks. <laughs> so. <laughs> I'm, my birthday's in December, so not nowhere near Harry Potter. Well, that's okay. Oh. It, it's good to have y'all here finally, because uh, I think mm. everybody out there wants to know what's going on with the Shaft mod. It's been a long time since we've even talked about it or mentioned it or played it, yeah. which is never, I think. I don't, yeah, I don't think I've played the Shaft mod. So no, we need to get you the multiplayer version. Yes, and then we put it on the server, or y'all can put it on the server, and we can hop on and uh, do some videos and stuff. Yeah, mm. <laughs> that would be awesome. So is it is it currently somewhere anyone can download it, or is it kind of private right now? It it is on the forum. Yeah, it is on the Minecraft forum, but that's um the version for one point two point five because we've kind of walked away from modding a little bit, but um, we I'm working on converting it to 1.3 and then to multiplayer, which could be done very, very, very soon. Yeah. Which could so just be like, a few hours from now. We've got, our, <laughs> we've got like our expertise modding team. We've which is like, me, and that's it. Yeah. That's amazing. That's amazing. And yeah. I don't really even know what I'm doing much. <laughs> Well, good thing that we have some solid coders on this, this yeah. project here. But y'all yeah, took exactly. it upon yourself to uh, start it and do it yourself. So we, we appreciate that because we're slackers and it would have never happened otherwise. Yes. So do, are y'all um, continuing to put stuff into the mod itself or is it kind of it? It's got the features that y'all uh, kind of want in it right now and, and that's it. We want a lot more features in it, but we just either can't figure out how to do them or we are just too bored and lazy to actually put them in. But everything that we initially wanted in there is really in there right now. That's mm. That sounds exactly like the shaft. It does. <laughs> <laughs> it's like this parallel. Yeah, we, just follow. We, we follow your work ethic. Yeah. <laughs> very good. Very, very good. So, so have y'all done any modding before this? No. So- I, I what was it? There was there's there's a few people on the mod team. There's myself. Um, there's Er Potter. We have yeah. Volcano Prior. He's just another member. Pryor. that kind of just oh, Pyre. I don't know how to pronounce Pryor. it. I just um, say Prior. Idiot. He just basically sits around and watches us work. Um, then we have Nick, who is the other main modder on the team. He actually knows how to code Java. Is that Nick? And there's Alex who actually got the team together at the start or gave the initial idea. Mm. Is that Nick Fast? Nope. Oh, okay. Different Nick. Yes. He does the servers. Yeah, he sends in server spots yes. every week, so I didn't know. Ah, yeah. so, him. so you decided uh, to step into uh, Minecraft modding. How easy was it to pick up? Um, I hadn't really done any proper like Java or anything before, so I really didn't know what I was doing, and I was basically just copying and pasting things that actually happened in Minecraft or what Notch um, wrote to figure out how Java worked, and then I got a basic gist of it, and then you and bought a book on Java, and then <laughs> never finished, never finished it. <laughs> 
Well, those Java books are pretty boring. Mm. No, it's Java for dummies. Yeah. Yeah. So, do you yeah. need another book? Like, should we? Do we need to send you a book, a Java book? <laughs> I think I have some actually. I, I mean, I don't do Java, but it's not like there aren't Java lessons online or anything. Hey, no. I don't know, it's a, it's the thought that counts. <laughs> I'm like, they're doing something. I can send them some Java books or some Java. Maybe they just need some uh, coffee. Maybe, maybe there's a free a Java book on Audible. Maybe, maybe there is. Could be. We could use Java. Yeah, Java. How, how horrible would a Java book and Audible be? <laughs> Like oh, uh, and then you put parentheses, <laughs> parens, parens, <laughs> variable, tab, tab, <laughs> uh. semicolon. Oh my god! I would shoot myself. <laughs> uh, there's got to be a way to describe stuff like that in an audio book, though. I don't yeah, know. yeah, they would say, Maybe. "Go to the first link that has the picture." Yeah, or text. Yeah. yeah. Read mm. the text, uh, something. <laughs> it would end with up this. just like giving you the whole book in PDF form <laughs> just so you could yeah. follow along. <laughs> Speaking of following along in PDF form, we have some incredible sponsors this week. Uh, we have some right, individuals. Segue. Thank you. We have, and, and just like uh, in the mod, it doesn't really work. <laughs> 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 but the segues, that is. Anyway, so our individual sponsors today, we have Mr. Mapple, who says... Uh, I like cake. Give me cake blocks. You got it. And Sarsum33 who says... Uh, if you say my name wrong, I want my money back. What if we say it wrong multiple times? Do we owe right, money? Let's just Sarsumi. No, 50 bucks? Sars... Sar 20. I say it's just Sarsum. 30. Sarsum? I would say Sarsum. Sarsum. I think we owe this guy like 60 bucks Sarsum. now. Because well, no, he just said if, if we said summer. it wrong, we owe him money. Right. But but at the same time, like... Well, we said it right once out of that exactly. eight times that you said it. So right. we said it wrong seven times. No, Peshaw. I, I just think that means if we say it wrong and don't say it right. We said it right. Okay. So next we have Grand River who says... Happy Thanksgiving to the Shaft listeners in Canada. Blame Canada. Anyway. Um, How and, about that? And we have Chromie who says... Nothing. And Towelie who says... Don't forget to bring a towel. Are we missing something? Don't forget to bring a towel. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, it is quite an important. <clears throat> and we have some uh, server ones here. Yeah, we do. Now, this is the one that I was sad about, and I, I wanted to go ahead and uh, read it out of the way. We have one from Toasted Jelly. Yeah. Yeah. Who says, <laughs> um, this is for the shaft.lethaldrive.com. This is the server that you can go to. <laughs> and uh, he sent this in because he says... I heard the hosts visit the servers that are sponsoring. We miss you. <laughs> so our server is sponsoring us, so we go play on it. That is the saddest thing in the entire world. Like, so we'll be there, and everybody should be there. Wow, that is really sad. I didn't get it at first. It took me a minute. <laughs> So, uh, uh, Toasted Jelly, like, we should be paying you, not the other way I around. Know, like, I know, I oh. know. So, yes, we also need to do get them all on the show at some point, yes, I think. Be but, okay, idea. so we got some other uh, server sponsorships here. This first one here is from Ninjan, who didn't leave a message. So I sent them an email and said they could send in a message. But if not, hey, everybody go visit Ninjan. Do a search on it. N-I-N-J-A-N. <laughs> and it may be or maybe not something. <laughs> But hey, thanks, Ninjan. Yes, thank you very I much. came up with Ninja. That's basically everything that came up. Oh. Mm. D you didn't click the, did you mean to type Ninjan? We were, anyway. And uh, I feel nope. like I have to say something about this next one, too. Okay, go ahead. Oh, this I found a Ninjan of Minecraft server. There you go. There you go. Yeah. So use that Probably one. Probably isn't the right one, but. I hope. That's, we'll, <laughs> we'll find out. Okay, <laughs> this next one is from The Watershed. This is uh, mc-thewatershed.net. They've actually sponsored a few weeks, and one week they sent in an email. Yeah. And it was like a paragraph of stuff, and so I had to tell them, you know, in the future, it can only be what fits in the form, yeah. not see additional copy. And they were really cool with it, so I, I definitely want to tell people to head over there. It's a uh, 2,500 ki kilometer. 2,500 square squared. kilometer. Yep. Uh, survival RPG world with YouTube adventures and more. So go over there. And Eric was actually playing on there on Friday night, wasn't he? Oh, well, then they got their money's um, worth. Was he? <laughs> yeah, I think he was. I think he went over Eric there. Eric was. 
and they were, uh, yeah, I think they played over it there on that server. So I'm sorry if Eric was griefing your server. No, they, they, I think this they, was before he was. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so next we have the Lord Bones who sponsors us every week, and uh, so we really appreciate it. Go to thelordbones.com. He has weekly Minecraft videos featuring Tunnels Through Time and Power of Kings, and they always have cinematic content. And Nick Faust. <laughs> I didn't say your name wrong, so you can't burn me, please. Uh, so go to uh, our, uh, his messages. Connect to manhunt.nickfoss.com now for Team PvP Survival. So do it right now. Manhunt.nickfoss.com. And then lastly, we have Twitch TV. Wait. What? Exterminate all yes, humans. We're getting we're getting a bad. Uh, we're getting Skype robots. Yes. What was that? Wait, is this a this is a Twitch? This last one is a uh, Twitch. Probably me. Server. Anyway, the last I one is. A robot. <laughs> I think that was me. My the train is out, going sorry. off the rails. Yes. So the last one we have is from Twitch TV slash Your Redstone, uh, and this is uh, October twenty ninth and thirtieth. They will be streaming Minecraft for charity and want everyone to come and join them. So that's twitch.tv slash your redstone. Pardon me, you redstone. You are Edstone. You are you are D Stone. There'll be a link in the show notes. Yeah, and I'm gonna double check this just because he was in the uh, chat too. And it's, it's spelled, you redstone. You redstone. You redstone I think it says Twitch. 19th to the twentieth. Yeah. So that is the right Right, link, and, and so go help them out for charity and keep that date in mind, uh, and uh, we'll mention it again uh, yes. next week. <laughs> what did you do this week, Wes, in your journeys? Uh, journeys. Well, I actually uh, I, I got uh, sick this week. <laughs> I, I got an allergy shot and ended up in the hospital. There's a lot of that going around. Yeah. Right? And How are you feeling? I'm feeling much better. Um, but anyway, so I didn't. I I was gonna do some Minecraft with Eric on Friday night, but I was really under the weather. Uh, Eric did some um, gaming on his Friday gaming session. Yeah, and he played uh, some. What did he do? He did lots of TF2, and he did some of the Seth Blink's Minecraft TF2 as well. Yeah, he did the Minecraft TF2. He did uh, walls. He did castles or something there was a bunch of different yeah, stuff he castle, did castle defenders yeah and once again and he, he didn't call me i'm gonna have to get on to him like i could have been oh, in no, there yeah. playing some tf2 with him yeah because i was playing law in fact he he asked you i remember him asking you yeah we, you we were both him. on his stream at one point in time you were messaging his dead workers party and i was messaging his, his oh dead i don't re- party. read the chat that well oh when i'm in there <laughs> oh yeah i need skype uh, or phone calls i'm lame like that golly Australia just put something in the journeys, and they said that you Redstone said they got the dates wrong, and it's actually October nineteenth to twentieth. Okay, oh, thank you, thank wow. you both of you. So you Redstone nineteenth through twentieth will be streaming for charity for Minecraft. <coughs> yes. So wow, we we messed up all our servers, didn't we? Do we do we mess them all up? Uh, I think they messed no. it up. I oh. don't think we messed it up. <laughs> So anyway, uh, other than that, I've been I've been doing zone out games this week. We we did some pandas this week, and we've been putting out some videos uh, with some wow pandas. We all made panda monks. Yes, and we've been we the videos are on YouTube. Uh, how long have they been up? Full hour or so. Full hour. Oh. Yes, that's my character name. Full hour. Uh, <laughs> and I'm Pei Pei. So if you want to see some, and my son loves it. I was like, is it? A, do you like it as much as the Minecraft stuff? And he's they're just cracking up him and his cousin watching really? them. So okay, good. They like it. It's good stuff. Good. So hopefully we'll get more of that up there. And then Eric's been putting out Destiny episodes. That's been coming out. Yeah. And other than that, uh, I've just been zoning out on some Guild Wars too. And I heard from uh, I think it was Mr. Griffian said that the uh, the uh, he liked the uh, Destiny better than the last stuff we'd been putting out. Oh really? And we were kind of surprised. I think mm-hmm. uh, we thought this was kind of crappier. Yeah. Well, the yeah. editing's really good. Eric's done some really good editing on this one. I need to watch it then. Go back and yeah, you should watch our videos. Uh, you know when I get time. <laughs> I live them. So, what have you been doing, Brent? Uh, I've actually been trying to get the uh, podcast on air again. We after the Notch episode, <laughs> our our host uh, pulled all the podcast and basically are holding it ransom right now. We're being extorted. They're basically saying. 
you either need to upgrade to this like fifteen hundred dollar a year package, or you're not getting your files. You know, we're we're turning them off. And I finally got him to turn all of them all on, but the Notch episode. I was like, that's the only one causing you know this issue you're saying. So finally got him to turn it back on. And this is after days of like talking to them, you know, trying to get everything worked out. Uh, and I, I can't recommend these people at, at all. Do yeah. not go to Lunar Pages. I, I used to think they were better, but they've basically, the, the, I mean, it's extortion, I, I feel, yeah, is exactly what they're doing. And now they've turned off uh, 101 as well. They say that's too high. Of um, If they turn this one off, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> we're gonna get. We're gonna get our. We're gonna get our spears. Yeah, uh, Australians. We're gonna get our spears and we're gonna throw them at them. <laughs> Play didgeridoos. Oh, I'm gonna be getting my spears and throw them at you, mate. <laughs> Play didgeridoos I, all I night pull long. That out. Why yeah. didn't I pull that out? I don't exactly. know. Anyway, yeah. uh, so I don't, I don't play didgeridoo. We've got a couple <laughs> offers to move our our you know files to other places, um, but I. And we still are not exactly sure what we're going to do. So yeah. hopefully we'll have the Notch episode available soon. And, you know, the, yeah. the Seth Ling episode and this one. Hopefully. Because yeah. we had that first week that the Notch episode was up, we had 1.4 million downloads yeah. of that episode. And just to give you uh, an example, the Yogscast episode, it's been out 77, 78 weeks, and it's just hitting 1.9 million. So... Yeah. Over you know a year and a half, it they got 1.9 million. He got 1.5 in a week and a half. Yeah. Uh, so they were kind of upset, and I was like, "Well, how about you just? How about this? We'll get two plans. We'll get a second plan, just like the one we have, and you can put just that episode on it. Because it's basically doing half the traffic yeah. now as everything else. Mm-hmm. That yeah. one episode. And they were like, "No." <laughs> I was like, "What?" <laughs> so, yeah. So I don't know. They're just jerks, big old jerks. Um, so I don't know if if you feel like you have server solution that can push 180 terabytes a month uh, yeah. for a good price. Let me know. Yep, that'd be because we got we need terabytes and terabytes of stuff. Okay, mm. so uh, how about you guys? What, you, what have y'all been up to this week? I guess we'll start with Jaden. Um, we actually haven't been, pl- we've basically been gaming together all week and, um, we actually haven't done much Minecraft. We played some Red Merc Mystery yesterday. Oh, cool. Yeah. yeah I, I wanted yeah. to do that one. And then we played before that when Eric was streaming, we were playing, um, Super Pirate Battle Royale, which is basically you just have two pirate ships and you just fire TNT cannons at each other. Whoever can destroy each other first. Huh. Now, when's that going up on your channel, Jen? Um, I don't know. Sometime in the next <laughs> six months, when I actually can be bothered to edit it. Yeah, because I was doing Perry and I were doing all the the pirate voices. Yeah, oh, it was awesome. <laughs> Arr, you land plumbers, get your stuff back into action. Arr. So what's what's been That's getting good. your what's been getting your attention besides work, uh, Minecraft? Well, I've basically just been animating for a music video parody and have been playing around with Source Filmmaker. That's basically all I've been, what I've been doing all week. Cool. I've seen 15 seconds of that. What? Of what? Did I forget. <laughs> okay, so let's uh, move on to news here. <laughs> okay. Um, I've been uh, playing a lot of Team Fortress 2. Oh, yeah, that as well. I put about 10 hours in this week. Same. And I played about two hours of Portal and about, and I think, two or three hours into Counter-Strike Global Offensive. That was last night. (laughs) Yeah, and um, surprisingly, I haven't played any Minecraft apart from what Jaden said. Hmm. I tried out Shogun Total War, Shogun 2 Total War, this week, and uh, I'm kind of excited to get into it, but it's a little too complex for me, so I need to get somebody to kind of walk me through some of the stuff. Hmm. It's very, very tactical, but um, yeah, so Will Overguard is trying to get us some do- to do some stuff, because they're coming out with Rome 2 soon, and he wants us to do some promotions with him. I, yeah, and I keep forgetting a- about that, so I want to try it too. Yeah. So... So anyway, we'll do that this week. From the Minecraft Daily, 
news and updates. <laughs> yes, <Sorry>. exactly. So, <laughs> let's see. This week we got to see uh, two snapshots again, 12W40A and B. And this came out with a, a little extra, the announcement that the 1.4 Pretty Scary Update, it's estimated for an October 24th launch. Uh, winches now have their own home in a swamp hut and guess which biome west swamp swamp very swamp. good very good slimes now spawn in swamps too in low light levels fire spread has been nerfed further to avoid infinite spreading left click no longer works on doors buttons levers or trap doors only right, right clicks work uh, the lighting changes that were uh, in the previous one were reverted because of major performance issues so that's a good thing that they're keeping an eye on that and also, there was a second snapshot, which, aside from the fur further bug fixes, included a tweak to the slash TP command to allow teleporting relative to a player's current position. Oh, that's kind of cool. So, I guess instead of popping in on top of someone, you can put them near them or something. Yeah. It'd I like it. Oh, uh, we also so got... Oh, what's that? I think it's better when you teleport to them, especially if they're standing on, like, an edge... So you can push me into the lava. <laughs> that is fine. See, then if it, it's probably also taking into account if it's teleporting around them. If they're only standing on the one block, it would teleport to the same like position. Yeah. Mm. Huh. Unless I can Instead, teleport like, them in front of me into, into lava. lava. Like it may just be yeah, a griefer's uh, dream tool. That's true. So, also we have, uh, I saw some images of this too, the, the Minecraft prepaid cards. I don't know if you've heard about this, but soon you'll be able to go down to your local Walmart, Target, or Best Buy, and at the cost of twenty six ninety five, nice price there, weird, yeah. weird price, you'll be able to buy uh, Minecraft and uh, give it to someone, because if you're listening to the show, you probably already have it, but... Uh, if not, mm -hmm. hey, head on down there and grab you a copy. Uh, we'll be able to grab some copies and give them away, things like that. Uh, autographed copies of Minecraft, right? By us, would that matter? No? Anyway. Probably. So, Sim not. Similarly, uh, and this is something kind of cool, um, <laughs> Plants vs. Zombies is has uh, coupons that you can give away for Halloween. So instead of candy, you can give kids plants versus zombies oh weird like oh. you just print them out it's a it's a coupon you print out and and they say you know yes of course you could probably take one and use it yourself but it's for kids come on so that's kind of cool yeah that's and save mm. a lot of money yeah <laughs> is that wrong yeah here's coupon. a video game <laughs> okay so minecraft the book are we ready for this i i think maybe they got the uh the iron golem story and and wanted to put in a book. That's what we mm. said, right? They should do that. Yeah. Yeah. Well, they went ahead, and the uh, UK's children's publisher Egmont has signed a deal with Mojang to produce Minecraft-related books and magazines from 2013 uh, uh, for all territories outside the U.S. No specifics yet as to the type of content being planned, but a source from Egmont stated that they're working closely with Mojang and Minecraft enthusiasts. So let's see the Iron Golem in there. That'd be yeah. perfect for one of the first books. Mm. Yeah, I agree. I think that would be awesome. Yeah. No. And you put that on uh, Audible as well. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Also, uh, Dinner Dinnerbone uh, tweeted pictures of revisions he's working on to improve the repair and enchanted items uh, involving the use of XP levels to maintain enchantments during repairs. And this is stuff where you'll be able to combine enchanted items. And if they have uh, the same enchantment, it'll increase it. If they have different ones, it'll add it. That's pretty uh, cool. Things like that. So it's a um, yeah, I like pretty that cool one. picture. Do you think with that, if you have like both of the maximum of the same enchantment on like the same item, so say you have like four fortune on one pickaxe and four fortune on another, <laughs> would you add it together to get eight or would it just stay on like the maximum? I think it would stay on the maximum. That's my mm. thought process. The other thing is like I can, uh, it seems like, you know, it's kind of, it's not, doesn't feel like really cheating because you're taking one item. And turning, I mean, two items and turning them into one. So you're losing the entire durability of one of those items. So. Well, there is a picture here of a diamond pickaxe with efficiency five on it. Yeah. So if that's, I don't know, is what's four the max? I no. think efficiency. Is it? I think it's five. Okay. So yeah. then that's not a. No. A bonus picture <laughs> they were no. looking at. Just no. had to check. Um, so there, and it tells you the levels on there and stuff. So pretty cool pictures. We'll link to that in the show notes. Also, they've been working on the modding API. So uh, they and I was in, surprised when I saw that. 
Yeah, I mean, I, I'm kind of excited about this. They're they're opening it up. Uh, they're asking the community to provide recommendations. They've even opened a website to take formal proposals for features in the modding ABI. Uh, but you won't be able to do it in in a casual sort of way, like like we do it here. Um, there's going to be re- yeah. There's going to be guidelines on how uh, to get an idea considered, and the full details are will be on the proposal ticket page, and I will provide links to those in the show notes. And lastly, but not leastly, the well, Minecraft no, documentary. No, no. There's a bunch of stuff. Oh, there is. Oh yeah, there is more stuff. Um, I just saw the line said cut here. Uh, So the Minecraft documentary is planned for December release. Two player productions uh, has finished filming Minecraft, the story of Mojang and they're going to release it December 7th. Uh, Eurogamer got to look at a near final cut and was impressed. The film talks with fans as well as industry big shots like Tim Schafer, uh, Peter Molyneux and Penny Arcades, (coughs) Mike Krahulik and Jerry (laughs) Hawkins. And the shaft is supposed to be in it. <laughs> Supposedly. We'll yes. see. I, they, my, my cousin who works at Double Fine saw them editing the movie and noticed us on the screen while they were editing. So. We'll see. We'll see if we're in the final cut. Yeah. Now, we should get them on the well, show. Well, you're on the IMDb page. You, both yeah, you and Eric true. are on the IMDb page. That's true. So, also, there's more uh, Microsoft Mojang Minecraft merchandise. Monday saw 4J Studios announcing still more Minecraft-related Xbox 360 merchandise with a collection of 30 gamer picks based on mobs and items from the game. Each of the gamer picks cost 80 Microsoft points. So, what are... I'm not a big Xbox player. What are Microsoft picks or Xbox picks? I assume they're the little, like, icons you use while you're playing. Right? You use icons while you're playing? I think they're like your avatar, aren't they? Yeah, they're avatars. Like mm. your guy walking around? No, like like when you when your name is up, the, the, you'll have a little symbol next to your name. Like when uh. you're listed on score things oh, and stuff okay. like that. Okay, that sounds worth it. So go out and get some of those. <laughs> Uh, we also got a, uh, uh, a we exclusively, I'm sure, got a, a video sent to us uh, <laughs> on YouTube for uh, Tent to the Sea taking shape. Notch put it up there and uh, uh, shows you there's a lot about the lighting and lasers and looked like a almost like a computer monitor. Freaking lasers. Uh, and, and stairways and, and things, uh, different levels and texture. So it's, it's an interesting little watch to see what's going on there. The oh, lighting in the game actually looks really, really cool. Yeah, yeah, and the physics of like uh, some of the things, mm. like the li- lamp was moving back and forth and stuff. It looked kind of cool. Mm. And how when you would shoot the laser, it would had push back and would actually push them back from the wall. Mm, yeah. Cool. So uh, take a look at that. We'll put it in the show notes. Next, Mojang entered for an office design award. Uh, they didn't oh, figure yeah. they had enough like awards for the studio themselves. Uh, so they put their brand new office building in the running for the Sveringus Nigger Konter 2012, something in Swedish. Um, and it's Swedish, Sweden's most beautiful office 2012. Uh, and the interests in the contest are uh, competing on style, innovation, and safety, uh-huh. which, you know, I bet the Mojang office is very safe. Um, and it the, looks incredible. I don't know if you've yeah. seen these pictures yet, but their office is amazing. Like, yeah. I'm jelly. Yep. Yeah. Uh, our office is not nice. Uh, and we, it, the winners of the entire contest will receive, quote, a very fine piece of art to hang on the wall. Uh, second prize is a year's free rental of a fish tank. <laughs> uh, what if the office was... Go on. That is a really weird prize. Yeah. <laughs> what, like, a fish tank? It's like it's like saying if you win, you get $100,000. And if you come second, you get like a $50 coupon to like... <laughs> to Red Lobster. Uh, one of those like fast food restaurants, like Burger King or something. Wow. Well, it's you, ridiculous. So yeah. if you were really mean, you could get this fish tank and just kill the fish every week? <laughs> and then when they come in to like look, you're like, I don't know, dude. Your fish keep dying, and then they give you like new fish. Well, is I mean, that wrong? I mean, you cook them and have sushi and stuff. Like, well, no. I mean, I can imagine like this is not some chumpy fish tank. Fry it's it's probably not like the yeah. one 
you know, in in Finding Nemo or anything. <laughs> it's it's, it's right. on a ten dollar stand. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> it's probably a really freaking nice fish tank, and it's probably spot. I mean, these. It's not like this. The person running this contest has, you know, like bought this. He's got someone providing it. Who's who? They're mm. trying to sell it to other people. Now, but what if a like their competitor won, like another fish tank maker or <laughs> seller, and they're like, really? <laughs> Like they get second place, and their competitor comes in to put a fish tank in their office. That would be really funny. Yeah, I'm trying to find. Uh, unfortunately, the webpage is in Swedish, so I'm I'm trying to oh, find um, out. There's translated one in the Google Docs. The Google translated English version of the contest page can be found here, and I'm sure you could actually click around. Onto oh, other yeah, links. Google's nice and translated it for me anyway. Yeah. But I'm not seeing I'm not seeing the fish tank prize. Okay, so on with that. Uh, uh, there's also another contest going on. This is at Threadless. You can no longer submit T-shirts, but you can still vote on the T-shirt submissions. So I want everybody to make sure they go over there. We'll we'll put it in the uh, show notes, uh, or you can go to the Mojang dot, dot com blog, and there's a link to it. Go vote for the best shirts. Like, don't let the chumpy shirts win. Yes, just because a bunch of people's friend friends that. voted for it. Yes, uh, go and and let's get some cool. shirts shirts uh out there because threadless shirts are dirt cheap and it'll, it'll be a good shirt again yeah plus the winner gets to go to minecon yeah now yeah. <laughs> see we could be pushing the shirts though for the people who said they'd give us the tickets yeah <laughs> <laughs> but we're not doing it yeah so, go and uh, vote for the best one speaking of minecon uh junk boy tweeted that minecon capes are on the way and that they're working on the ability to turn them on and off and uh that should happen in, in just a few weeks okay so cool. which is we were working on that for our mod because we we made shaft capes that you guys could wear sweet yeah. that's awesome and we we're working on ways to turn them on and off but then we thought you guys probably have your minecon capes and don't want to wear our other ones and you basically just have to have the mod to be able to see it yeah yeah, I, I mean, I I mostly I want to turn my Minecon cape off sometimes. I mean, I don't yeah I don't like, like it. record and stuff. Yeah, I yeah, and and I would love to see Shaft capes uh, put in the game. I mean, yeah. why not? Yeah, they should be in the game. <laughs> One hundred episodes. Why didn't we ask show? Notch? He was there. I know we had him on the show, and we could just just why not? Is that I guess because you sound like a jerk when you're like, know. hey, put our capes in, Notch, <laughs> Notch. We put our capes in. Why wouldn't you put our capes in? Don't you think we've done enough to get our capes in there? Huh? What do you think? What do you think? Um. Uh, that. Oh yeah, that was that was just Notch. Um, he called me there in the next update. <laughs> did he? Did he tell you to uh, go there to audibletrial.com dot com slash the shaft and sign up for a free Audible book trial? Yeah, he he did, but it was in Swedish, so I didn't understand it. Oh <laughs> well, let Swedish. me help you out here. It I'll translate. Like, yet not open the ball. Yet what? Yet what? That was so racist. Not to be <laughs> offensive to Swedish. Wow, people. I'm not sure. Is making fun? I, 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 no, but is making fun of like another language racist? Really? Uh, I, I uh, was worried he knew what he was saying in the other be. language. That's what I was worried about. Yeah. 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 I don't yeah. Know. yeah. Well, yeah. Anyway, <laughs> Audible, we're glad we put your ad right here in controversy because that's where the most people listen and they'll come <laughs> and listen to uh, the show and they'll get a free trial by going to audibletrial.com slash the shaft where they will get a free book and a month to try out your services at uh, audible there with over a hundred thousand titles and freebies such as newspapers and apple pie so head over to apple apple <laughs> audible trial <laughs> dot com slash the shaft that's audible trial dot com slash the shaft Listener, listener, contributions. contributions. Oh yeah, should I do it? Whoa! What the (laughs) Apple website that you're talking about? It's got this photo of a man hugging a small computer. What? Okay. What's going on here? Anyway, so uh, let's see. We got a contribution here from Exilander who said, During Control Point, we used to play a lot of songs and parodies the community made about TF2 and the Dead Workers Party and Control Point community. Uh, but you notice that we are not doing that on the shaft. And is it because we think uh, it would lower the quality of the show? 
Uh, no, that's not why. Yes. Or simply because we aren't sent any of those, and that's the reason. Yeah. yeah. We've had one or two, it seems like. Yeah. But, I mean, seriously, Control Point, every week we had a new something sent in. Yeah. Like, almost every week, like, where we were, like, going, no, that would suck to play this well, one. Well, also, we uh, Control Point was a different kind of community. Like, Minecraft, the Control Point community kind of focused within Control Point people. Like, stuff ended up on YouTube, but it was sent to Control Point first. Here in the Minecraft community, things get put on YouTube and published on iTunes, and then people go, hey, have you seen this? Right. Yeah. So, it's it's kind of a different, you know, pattern of behavior. So. Yeah. So, um, I hope that answers your question. We also had a, uh, um, a message sent in from Jellyneck. Who says, I've come to the conclusion that the only way to be featured on Excavation Station is to submit an idea that you guys will over-speculate in general. Eric will deem out of place. Wes will think it as pretty cool, and Brent will buzz no matter what. Anyways, I love the show. <laughs> and we have a note here from Astragali who writes, uh, The Crystal Crow and I try to choose ideas that have never been suggested before or are a funny, interesting twist on an old idea, something we think the guys will want to talk about. Be creative, ingenious, funny, and if you can, be brief. So much the better. But we do read every submission you send under the Excavation Station option on the website, so uh, please keep sending them in. And, uh, you know, don't send in crappy ones, and I won't buzz it. How about yeah. that? We'll make a deal right yeah. here. Yeah. And the last one is from Mr. Griffian. Who says, will you ever do a show with Cherick Fullerton as a co-host or guest? I hear he's pretty big oh. on Twitch. And oddly enough, today, yes. Yeah. Yeah, today. Yeah, we've got him here. He's right there. He's just I, not real talking. I almost set up a camera on the chair and, and put an yep. overlay. But, see, uh, look, it's right It's right over there. Can you see? That is Cherick Fullerton. Hi. <laughs> Hi, guys. <laughs> Hi, Cherick. It's very good to see you. It actually sounded like Eric for half a second. <laughs> <laughs> and for those of you who don't get it, um, Eric went to sleep. While streaming the other night, and let and his chair was up, um, sat there unmoving for about eight hours, and it had more views than any stream I've done so far featuring a video game. <laughs> Wait, how many views did he have on the? He had forty people on, watching the empty it chair for eight up. hours. It actually went up because it was down to like thirty. No, it's it, it, every time I got on there, there was at least forty people watching it. We actually Ooh, got wow. a uh, tweet from Cherick Fuller Seat. Who says, oh, wow, I got a mention on the Shaft Podcast by Wes Wilson and Brent Copeland. My life is complete. <laughs> so, oh. there you go. Now it's time for Excavation X- Station. Station. <laughs> so, our first idea is a new way to craft obsidian. And this was sent in by Brené. Brene, would that, is that how you pronounce that? Brene? Uh, I think you should be able to craft obsidian by combining a water bucket and a lava bucket on a crafting table so you get the buckets back. Mm. I think that's not a bad idea. I mean, they're not going to stack, right? Would it be worth it to lose one of the buckets? That's three bars of iron. I, I don't you think, think you should get them both back. Why? Why you don't I lose guess, them if you just yeah. pour them in the ground? Well, I guess like but, to me the the painful part of obsidian is sitting there digging it. Yeah. So I'm I'm trying to think is that really worth? I don't know. I like the idea because I hate digging obsidian. Yeah. But I'm but worried the thing it is, may be with kind one of, block of water, with one bucket of water and one bucket of of lava, you can make multiple blocks of mm-hmm. obsidian. Mm-hmm. That's five, isn't it? Well, you can make you can make more than one. When if you crafted it like this, you would only get one block, and it would seem like a waste of materials because there is a yeah. finite amount of lava in the world. You can't make like a lava generator or whatever like you can with water. Okay, I I can buy that. Ding. See, <laughs> I don't buzz everything. I just yeah. need explanations. As long as you're it, it, usually you'll get Brent's approval if there is some drawback, like if if you get. If it provides something good, but it also costs something. And in this case, yeah. So, uh, yeah. We also have uh, one here submitted by Random5078. Force field blocks. A force field block that creates an 8x8 sphere around the block and will let you pass through, but not mobs. I don't see any rational reason for that. 
That doesn't seem good. I don't like it. It's it's maybe in ten to the C. I mean, it seems a little spacey to me. Yeah. I it just doesn't, uh, you know, it, 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 and and somebody's saying that Tekkit has something similar, but I, I, mm. yeah, Tekkit does. It it just mm. it doesn't seem like a no. Uh, hmm. I don't know. Like I could. I mean, like, are we talking about like getting into where you make doors that are kind of like portals? But keep certain things out. Like, so there's a human kind of portal door. So if you made a door out of all iron blocks, like you would obsidian for a portal, yeah. it now makes a, a greenish glowy gatey thing that only humans can go through. Yeah. Or, you know, maybe one like that with iron that only animals can go through. I don't know. I, and like, I, that might not be a bad thing. Like, if you could create different portal types and, and mainly use that for, like, doorways to buildings. Yeah. I mean, that, that seems, you know, especially if you've got a big public server and you want creepers running into your big buildings. I can sort of understand that. But just a block you place down and all of a sudden mobs can't come in. Why not just sit there and do it over and over again while you're mining and mobs can never get to you? Yeah. That's that. I mean... Mm-hmm. Or you could just add like, a bodyguard into the game, like a, a heavy, like from TF2, like a skin like that, and then he runs around and bashes around mobs. That'd, well, be, and that'd be better. And I kind of, for being able to hire people, I think that'd be kind of cool to hire bodyguards. Yeah, or hire yeah. just have an or AI hire. or something that does it. You yeah. could put, like, Brent in the mod as that. He Brent is in could the mod. be in the mod. He is yeah. in the mod and has nothing to do. Yeah, so he could be like a bouncer. <laughs> you have me around and I will dig under you all the time. Even if there's lots. That's a good one. Okay, so we have one here from Brandon. Warrior Village is. Uh, goes on to say, among the many different types of testificates, there should be one that has much higher health, can inflict greater damage, and will defend their villages. Is, isn't that Iron Golems? <laughs> Sort of. Yeah. Uh, they would normally stand around the gravel exits to the villages, but would occasionally pace around the village. Yeah. I think that would be kind of cool. I mean, I'm all for hostile villagers, too. I think when you approach a village, you should not know whether it's going to be hostile or not. Yeah. That could be cool. So then you wouldn't be feel as bad by killing them and taking all their stuff? <laughs> yes. So Either this that or they're trying to defend, like, if... If a village was like hostile, um, they could ha- actually have like better loot because you have to go through and uh, harm yourself or something to get to the better loot. Yeah, something like that. Yeah. Um, okay. So next we've got wool into string, and this was submitted by King of Spoons, and um, he pointed out right now in Minecraft you can craft string into wool, and there should be some st- some tool for taking your wool and turning it back into string. And uh, I kind of, I, I mean, I can sort of see that, except that would make bows really easy to get. Well, and have you ever tried to take a piece of wool and turn it back into threads? <laughs> I mean, you don't get anything worthwhile. Yeah. You get a bunch of, you get lint is basically what you get. I mean, it just loses all kind of strength and it, just everything. It just doesn't work. Yeah. Like even if you took like a like a shirt, it try to get a thread out of a shirt that you can use for another shirt. Yeah, like it's just not the same thing. So, okay. There buzzer. You have it. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> now it's just going to be annoying buzzer. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So we have a, another one, and we've been warned on this one. Yeah. <laughs> um, the buzzer. Okay. Everyone get. Get your buzzers ready. This is from Scary Dude 766 who wants chickens, poo, and cake. They say, I think it would be cool if just for the Halloween update, Jeb would change the texture of an egg into a poo. <laughs> and then when you make a cake out of them, you get a mud cake. It would also be cool to throw poo at everyone. <laughs> <laughs> Let's. I say we just all use our imagination on this one and, and just grab a bunch of coal and throw it at people and pretend it's. Poo. I say. I say. Why don't we just add the mud cakes to the mod? Yeah. Because you basically chickens do 
True. And they also do drop eggs as well, but yeah. still, add a mud cake. That should be easy-ish. Yeah, so it'll, there you go. Ran, it'll be in the shaft ran, mod. Chocolate cake made out of poo? I ran the mud it cake. won't be chocolate. <laughs> I ran the mud cake. <laughs> <laughs> the, the name is going to be like, in inverted commas, so that it questions mud. what it's made out of. So, the mud cake, and it'll be in inverted commas. So you won't know if it's mud or not. Not till you take a bite. Yummy. And then you start getting poisoned. <laughs> hey, do you see that <laughs> rainbow? I do. <laughs> it's so beautiful. <laughs> it's, it's so, so intense. intense. It's so intense. Ah, uh, so. Sightings. Here we are in the sightings. And our sightings. first sighting is evidently there is this mod called the Shaft Mod, and it requires Mod Loader. Mod Loader. Does it? Yeah. Yeah, really? it does, I think. Yeah. Mm. So yeah, I think it also requires a bunch of other stuff as well. But <laughs> <laughs> but there's instructions, I'm sure, under the post, right? Um, yes. Okay, good. Or there will be. I did put some apparently. instructions there. I'm pretty sure. So this is the notorious Shaft podcast mod, coded by the amazingly talented Jaden B and all the other members of the Shaft mod team. Which we've found out that not really very many of them are coding it. They're just included in the team. Is that what I... Yeah. <laughs> I think they sit on Skype with them. We just we just have a Skype group and we talk. That's it. It's <laughs> kind of what we do. We yeah. just record it. Yeah. Yeah. And I will provide a link in the show notes to go and get the Shaft mod and you can try it out. Ewan is... Is it Ewan? E Ewan? Ewan. 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 Ewan is cool too. Yeah. Also. Cool also. <laughs> I can't read today. So we have another mod here. This requires mod loader as well. It's called Capture Ball Mod. Uh, this mod provides you with craftable items to capture any mob Pokemon style and provides you with a spawner egg, handy for survival mode. And you can even craft spawners from the eggs. The website is in Japanese with some English. Uh, I'm just saying, if if it's if the website's in Japanese, that must mean this is a really good mod because only the Japanese make good mods. Really, I did not know that. Well, all all of the Japanese mods, or most of them, are really really good. Hmm. And we'll also link to a a video from uh, Game Chap and uh, Birdie with a uh, better explanation of how it works. Huh. So I love those guys. Yeah, they're funny. We've been wanting to get them on the show. They want to come on. We just haven't been able to work it out, right? No, I, I don't think they want to come on. Really? Game Chapman Bertie here. Yeah. I thought they said they would. Uh, well, they might have been talking to Eric. When I talked to him, it was kind of like they uh, they didn't want to. Oh. Those and fiends. I, I, and I don't know. I think, you know, A, it could only be one person doing both voices. Yeah. And he doesn't want to, like, let the illusion <laughs> die yet and yeah. let that know. And he doesn't want to sit through an hour of trying to do both voices. Yeah. Or it could be two people, kind of the same thing, that doesn't want to sit through an hour long... Yes. show with the, doing the voices. Well, then we should just do an interview with him. Um, I don't know, so I don't know why not, but I'm going with a, it's a cat. <laughs> it's a cat? It's a cat. <laughs> <laughs> it is a uh, Antarctican cat. Okay, so we also have Jocelyn's mods. I, I'm going with that. D-J-O-S-L-I-N. Uh, this was submitted by Enderman42. It also requires mod loader. Uh, modern Jocelyn has put together a quite a collection of Minecraft mods, including ropes, vertical redstone, wireless redstone, and illuminated glass blocks. Each mod is installed individually to your taste, and the website indicates which version of Minecraft you need to make them work. Excellent. So go make it work. Mm. Next, we've got a video, and this is um, Redstone Lessons with a Mojangsta. Uh, Grum, another of the Bucket team who joined Mojang, uh, wanted to check out Redstone in preparation for working on the Minecraft code, and so he turned to our guest from last week, Mr. Seth Bling. Bling. Uh, in the first of these four videos, Seth takes Grum right back to the base basics, so if you're struggling with Redstone, you might want to check it out. And the other three parts haven't been released yet, but I imagine that with Seth's soothing voice, they will be majestic. And I'm just saying, I, I, I watched that yesterday, and even actually knowing how to use Redstone myself pretty good, I still learned quite a bit from that. So even if you know how to use Redstone, check it out. Very yeah, cool. It's good. 
And uh, last but not least, I, I've been playing a lot of WoW lately, so I thought I had to throw this one in here. This is uh, Crafting Az- Azeroth uh, from Rumsey. It, now, it is a 24 gig download, so be prepared. 24 uh, gigs? It is mine is Azeroth to, um, entirely in Minecraft. So you've oh, got wow, the whole big. world to I actually go just checked that, and it's a 2 gig download, and then it extracts to 24 gig. What? Wow. Yeah, it's was... some, I don't know why, but it's some amazingly compressed file. Yeah. Did yeah. they? I if want... you take a look on the thing, it says it's a 2.17 the file, gig download. Yeah, the files extract approximately 24 gig. Yeah. So, yeah, I... so it's not a 24 gig download. So well, that you... sounds better. You got to say it's 400 gig download. <laughs> <laughs> so, no, no. But so it's a two gig download basically, and then uh, but it's twenty four gigs of mappage. Do you think they just took in yeah. the the uh, texture map from WoW and like used? Yes, some, okay. yes. I think they used a program to do it. Okay, okay. Yeah, they could have. Uh, Let's just read it. I mean, mm. they would have to go. And I think, but I think the hard part is going yeah. in and doing a lot of cleanup. Yeah, it was it was heavily automated yeah. with the assistance of some custom software they made. Okay. That is really so they, cool. So they didn't really cheat. Not yeah. really. So they made their oh, own software. They, they basically just um, they got the world models from World of Warcraft and vox- and voxelized them, and then just got something to build it for them. Yeah, and the big thing is sense. we can download it now. Used to that, I think it was only on their server, and you could go play it. Because I mm-hmm. went on the server and played it, and like went to yeah. Undercity, and you know, like the elevators in Undercity. Yeah. Like there's this architecture that has to work out with with mods, where like you get on the elevator, and when you go down, it actually ports you to a new map. Yeah. Um, or a new area or something. But uh, so uh, now you can go and play and mess around and wow. build and uh, destruct and uh, blow up yeah. those alliance fools. Never. The entire conversion process took approximately 24 hours, and it's 275 square kilometers and over 68 billion blocks. So blocks. Wow, that's crazy. That is crazy. So now, if we could get Eric to go in and take our pandas and do the Minecraft, like we'll get man- Minecraft pandas to run around the same area, <laughs> and then take merge the audio, them? take the yes. audio from our existing stuff. I wonder if they've got Pandaria in there. I wonder if they did this before uh, Pandaria got released. Probably, but it'd be an add-on. So. You can buy it for forty. No, this it was. Um, oh, I know they um, updated it yesterday. Huh? But that was when they released it. Nice. Well, it then. probably doesn't have it. Huh. Pretty cool. Eastern Good Kingdom and Kalimdor. Oh, it's only the Eastern Kingdom and Kalimdor? Yeah. Okay. That's logical. Although, I can imagine Northrend would not be that difficult. So, you know what else is not difficult? Getting a free 30-day Netflix trial. Go to netflix.com slash deadworkersparty. Try out Netflix for 30 days for free. Help the show. Check out some excellent stuff. I've been watching a British comedy I did not catch. It came out about 10 years ago called Black Books. Uh, it's about a bookstore. It's very mm, funny. Interesting. Yep. Sound interesting. It's a British comedy. It's, it, it's think it, it could be about pooping and it would be awesome. You know, and since I have Netflix, it's free to try. Like, I don't have to go yeah. buy it. I don't have to borrow it. I can just watch it anytime yep. I yep. want to and go, hmm, Wes watched some crappy TV. Yep. So, uh, yeah. And, uh, and Astragali says Black Books is awesome. I agree. Oh, if only Netflix was in Australia. Yeah, that baffles me. That I don't understand how you guys don't have that yet. Mm. It's something to do with a um, a certain character in our government. Oh, uh, or it's just the way that the TV laws and everything are here. Silly, yeah. silly Aussies. Silly, silly. Did you just say Aussie? Isn't that I it? Aussie. 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 Like Aussie. Aussie. Yeah, but we pronounce our s's here. <laughs> so we don't really have uh, much housekeeping except for we're trying to get the uh the notch episode back online for people yes. to download uh if you really want to hear it and you can't wait for us to do that it's on youtube uh, yeah and you can see there. his face too yeah you can see uh, uh special expressions and instead of us it costing us money it'll actually get us some money if you watch it on youtube yeah so there yeah, it would be nice to get 1.5 million uh, views yeah. on the YouTube. Yeah, video. if we had 1.5 million views on that video, that would make us very happy. So everybody who... I, this, is a, this is a challenge. Everyone who listens to the show, 
If you listened to the Notch episode, just go watch it on YouTube. Just once. Again? Yes. Do it. Well, you're bored and have nothing else to do. Come on, just go. Yeah. Because, I mean, it's, it's, and, and it, it'll help the show. And, yeah. and that would, that See, would help us pay for our, our um, hosting bill so that we could put the audio version <laughs> back up. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> See, Seth, Seth Bling's episode has been out for less than a week and almost has as many views as Notch's. It's only like 600 views off. Yeah. Come on, guys. Notch needs to, like, go up there. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's, it's baffling. Yeah. And they had to pull his episode off the uh, podcast, too. So. Yeah, so if you want to go watch Seth Bling or... Um, oh, wait. I might have screwed something up here. Okay, but um, last but not least, we want to give a big shout-out uh, to Rufus, who's uh, just turned ninth. Uh, oh, yeah. Ninth, turned nine uh, yesterday, uh, and he's a huge fan of Minecraft and the Dead Workers Party. So we want to give a big shout out and a big happy birthday. Uh, congrats on being nine, and that's an awesome creeper cape. So uh, I uh, tell whoever made it that that's awesome. We like creeper cakes. And uh, so keep on uh, Minecrafting. Keep on listening to the show. Watch the videos. Uh, get your friends to do it. Y'all should have had like a uh, Dead Workers Party like uh, Watchathon. <laughs> Watchathon. Sleepover, right? With all the kids watching. <laughs> Just don't watch Cherik. Er- Cher- Cher- yes. That might not be healthy. Cherik is not a good, it's not a good uh, uh, source of. So anyway, happy birthday. And thank you everyone for listening to the show this week. Uh, thank you, Jaden B. And uh, E.R. Potter. Is that right? Yeah, yeah. And uh, yeah, thanks for uh, making the mod. We appreciate it. We can't wait to actually uh, try it out and play it. And everybody else should. Uh, we'll get it on a server and try to let everybody get on. Yeah. It'll be a fun event. Uh, mm-hmm. how, how can people get in touch with you if if, uh, if they want to? Um, well, I have a YouTube channel. It's Atomic Monkey Pro. And then I also have a Twitter, which I think is under the same name. I'm not sure. Are you pro? Isn't it Jaden Bev? No, it's it's short for productions, but YouTube's character limit was too small. Oh. And you, Mr. Potter? Um, I don't actually have a YouTube channel, but while I'm talking, I need to say that Tommy two plates in the chat room. He says that's his son, and his mother made the cake. Oh, cool! Very cool. And he said it tastes really good. So it looks shout good. out. Oh. You. There you go. Forgot, forgot to put something in sightings that should be there. Hmm. I have um actually I do have Twitter if you want to follow me. Um, it's uh, at Brent Copeland. <laughs> 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 Very but, good. Um, Everybody, make sure you go right now and follow him at Brent Copeland. <laughs> uh, my real Twitter is at erpotter97. So it's what it's there with 97 on the end. Okay. Yeah. That must suck to have 96 other er potters. I know. Out there. Uh, it's just what year I'm born in. That's you oh were God. Born, oh, God, God, feel God, old. Geez, oh God! No. <laughs> oh God! Oh, I had. Oh. Yeah. Oh, that's horrible. Uh, <laughs> uh, 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 yeah. <laughs> but some other noob stole it from me. <laughs> noob! That's how old we are. I know. Like, Not we're going to start seeing, hey, I'm I'm David Johnson 01, and we're going to be like, <laughs> you, were, you were born, like, please tell me you graduated from something in 01. <laughs> They're like, no, born. Okay. Uh, well, okay. That was an excellent episode. Thanks for joining us, guys. Okay. And yeah. uh, and I'm sure that we'll play some games together sometime this week. Mm. We need to. We should play. Um, I mean, we're, we're here series. whenever you do the Friday night um thing. Yeah. And by the way, that's something you can check out. Eric has been playing gaming for at least eight hours every Friday night, and you can join us at twitch.tv slash Dead Workers Party. And uh, I've been usually coming on sometime after like eight or so. Uh, this week I was still a little under the weather, so I didn't do it. But yeah, so come and check us out for Friday Gaming. I've just finished going through all of the fre- Threadless Design t-shirts. Are they good? 
there are actually a lot of very good ones. It's going to be very difficult to pick a winner. Okay. Oh, just the votes. Very good. So, chat room, everyone, go vote on Threadless. Go check out the Notch episode. Go check out the Shaft mod. And uh, we'll see you next week. Yay. Goodbye. Bye. <laughs> that gets me every time. I should go get my trombone and play something really loud. Get back in. Hang up on him. Hang up on him. Hang up on him. <laughs> Hang up on him. You <laughs> are. That's fabulous. Congratulations. You made it through The Shaft alive. See show notes and leave comments for this episode at theshaft.deadworkers.com. Send questions, comments, and audio to the shaft at deadworkers.com or leave us a voicemail at 256-812-1010. Dead Workers Party Network! Look at me! I'm on the shaft! <laughs>